Early yesterday morning at my job site, something happened which helped to reconfirm in my brain the very importance of something that I've been working on for at least the past two years now and helping to reinforce in my brain the utter urgency of getting this project done and getting the information uploaded as quickly as possible, especially considering how things are just now beginning to fall together to where a lot of the things which I had pretty much predicted would happen are actually beginning to make their presence known and so now I'm kind of kicking myself as far as having procrastinated so long which really in all honesty was not as much procrastination as it was that my priorities were just pretty much uh, being had taken uh, one way or another way and my time was being demanded in certain ways so that I really could not devote the full time and attention that I needed to in order to get this next project up and loaded because this is going to be I don't know quite possibly my swan song I don't know I'm really beginning to reevaluate how much more time and attention I really wish to uh, push into a lot of my interactions here online for a number of reasons, but um, be that as it may, what I had decided I want it to be like my defining upload project, it's getting to the point now to where I'm doing intensive uh, paying attentive attention to it, getting all of my information uh, situated, organized. I'm nearing completion of my final draft, and outside of that, uh, depending on how determined I am to get the information out there, uh, will be the um, defining thing as to how um, multimedia rich the project is going to be. And given the urgency of the situation right now, I may actually wind up pulling back on the multimedia aspects of it just so that the more important message can actually get out and be shared with a wider um, audience. But anyway, to get back on track as to why this is going to segue into what my next major project is going to be. So anyway, part of my job duties requires me to redirect traffic, which gets wayward, lost, misreading of GPS or operating on old information which needs to be updated for uh, different people that are coming in and out so that they can either be sent to an appropriate part of the property or to a different location altogether so that way eventually everyone will get on the same page and know exactly where they need to go when they need to go there and I had this situation happen early yesterday morning where I had the uh, unique situation where I actually had two individual drivers for the price of one. Um, one came in just um, just uh, maybe less than a couple of minutes before the next one came in right behind him as I was explaining to the first driver exactly how to get to where he needed to go in order to take care of his business. The second person that came in behind him was a unique situation where of course he didn't know exactly where he needed to go either but figuring that he could follow the vehicle in front of him he could pretty much figure out uh, where he needed to go to take care of his business and the difference being that the second driver who came in he was actually on a schedule he had an actual appointment that he needed to keep on time the first driver who came in was essentially, well, hey, I'm here early. I'd like to at least get to uh, know exactly if this is where I need to be or where I need to be. And uh, are there any accommodations to where I can wait it out until my actual time in the queue comes up? So I had the opportunity of explaining to two people at one time exactly what they needed to do, where exactly they needed to go, and what procedures they needed to take in order to get to the exact same location where both of them needed to be and this was especially important for the second driver who came in who again had an actual scheduled appointment just within a few minutes of his actually arriving there the first one was kinda like he had several hours to kill so it wasn't any big deal for him whether he got out of the place on time or not so as I'm explaining it to it in the clearest detail as I possibly can because for some odd reason even the simplest explanation as to helping people to get out of this facility and to get them to where they need to go they 90 percent of the time always screw up don't ask me why this the instructions are the most simplistic that you can possibly give and yet they hear you but they're not listening 
And so what eventually ends up happening is they get disoriented, they backtrack, or they wind up some other part of this uh, side of um, some other area where, uh, and I'm, I'm not totally familiar with uh, a lot of the area in here because my duties restrict me to a particular location so that once I tell somebody exactly where they need to go and I give them the detailed instructions, they're pretty much on their own. So here I have the situation where I'm explaining to both gentlemen at the same time and I'm giving them the exact same information and I'm giving them the exact same documents which they need to follow in order to get to where they need to go because they're both going to the same location and telling them exactly which turns they need to take um, which roads to follow etc <clears throat> and so before leaving out of the facility the second driver states clearly to the first driver that he's just going to follow the first driver and right away I already knew this was a recipe for disaster because rather than just paying attention and listening to the facts of the matter listening to the details taking in the information he was more content with following somebody who had already thrown him off his path or off his game if you will so we already see the pattern you follow the leader but the leader didn't know where he was going either so now both of you who are fed the exact same information the assumption is you're both listening to the information you're both taking it in but the second person the one who actually had the appointment so he's got more of a an obligation to be where he needs to be on time so he's the one who should be actually listening more intently and more carefully just more or less brushes it off and says I'll just follow the first guy still well of course you see where this is going the first guy the one who didn't have the appointment he wasn't too keen in the listening area either even though the instructions again were as so simple that a five-year-old child could follow them but you get grown men behind the wheel of big rig for some odd reason I don't know maybe they were sleep deprived or something so I don't know maybe the synapses fire differently when you're a long haul uh, big rig driver or something of that sort I don't know I've never done it so maybe that's something I'm not factoring in but the fact is I gave them both the exact same information one is going to follow the information as he heard me declare it apparently as again as I stated happens 90 percent of the time the second driver the one who actually had more of a mandate to make sure that the instructions were followed precisely rather than saying okay I know where I need to go I'm gonna do exactly what you said it's like no I'm gonna follow the first guy well of course the first guy overshot everything where he was supposed to go when he was supposed to go how he was supposed to go and they end up getting disoriented again and taken way off the beaten path of where they were supposed to have gone now you understand the setup here how could that have been avoided simply by not following the leader both persons getting the exact same instruction one could have just as easily said okay we know where to go but since you're the guy in front naturally I'm gonna be tagging along behind you because we're both going to the same place but logic would dictate that once you realize that the person ahead of you is heading in the wrong direction or doing something that's not part of the original plan then you've got an obligation you can either go with the flow and get lost right along with the person right ahead of you who's getting lost or you could say hey wait a minute that's not where the person said to go he said go this way if I need to get to where I need to go then if it's going to save my bacon let the guy who's going in the wrong direction let him keep going that way but I'm not obligated to him I'm obligated to myself and to making sure that I'm on the right path that's what he should have done but see, that's the psychology of not just humans, but especially of Americans. Why do you suppose Fox News exists? Why do you suppose conservative Republicans keep voting against their own best interests? Why do you suppose that they still have this thing about Obama's not an American citizen or that he's a Muslim or that uh, he's a socialist? They don't know the damn first meaning of the word socialism, but there you go. He's a socialist because Fox News says he's a socialist following the leader doing what somebody else said to do not checking your own facts and there was a study that was done 
You can find the uh, video clip up on some of these online hosting sites. Um, just do a search. I don't know how to find it or wherever. But they were showing clips of a uh, research where they would have a room full of people. Now, see, the thing was that this was a social experiment. So everybody in the room was in on the uh, setup, if you will, except for one person, the test subject. And the idea was to test to see what would an individual do if knowing the facts of the matter for him or herself were in a situation where the, the crowd or the majority said or did something or believed something that was totally contrary to what the individual knew to be factual truth. And sure enough, which line is longer? The test subject says line A is longer. Everybody behind them though says line C is longer, even though it's clearly shorter. But everybody's the consensus of the room is line C is, is longer than line A. And so when they ask again, you know, let's go through this again, let's make sure that everybody's seeing the same thing because we've got some discrepancy here. There's one guy out here who just decides that you know, he's not with the, with the group. So let's ask the question again, which line is longer? And of course they go through the whole routine again. Line C is longer until they get to the test subject. Then suddenly, miraculously, like magic, the test subject totally swallows his convictions and what he knows to be the obvious truth and goes with the crowd. Line C is longer. Now why do I bring this up? Because this relates directly to the major project that I'm going to be uploading on V1984. Because the issue that I'm going to be addressing, which again as I stated is a couple of years in the making already and I had already started the process uh, early on I think I had initially uploaded something like four individual uh, chapters before I finally something happened where I had to remove them and I went through a revision process and I wanted to make sure that I had gone as in-depthly into this thing as I possibly could but see we need to break away from following a particular mindset about a particular topic about a particular group of people which we have been force fed and brainwashed into believing that you can't say anything negatively about them or you can't tell them that they're wrong or that you can't tell them that you're um that there are some facts of the matter that they're ignoring and that here's some basic facts and truths because oh my god you'll get called a bigot you'll get called a hater you'll get called this that or the other or you know you'll lose your funding or you you know people will start sneering at you and they'll they, they'll talk about how insensitive and intolerant you are in every damn thing but the facts remain the fact that you got a whole mass populace brainwashed and believing one thing does not change the facts that the truth is the truth and this is the topic that I'm going to be getting on hopefully before the end of this month I'm gonna start with the first series of uploads on that project and by the time it's done it's gonna be close to 30 part um, treat us as to convince each and every one of you out there that you're being duped and fed a bill of goods and that you're being told don't acknowledge that the emperor has no clothes time to wake up I'm not going to say end of line yet because this is just getting started <laughs>